Anxiety and uncertainty are still high as the coronavirus pandemic continues, and sadly, so does food insecurity for families having a hard time making ends meet. Area food pantries have been filling the gap, but now they are starting to struggle, too, as the donations slow. Joining us to talk about how they have been lending a helping hand and what it will take to continue their work is Cindy Lippert, a volunteer at St. Anne's Episcopal Church Food Pantry. Good morning to you, Cindy. Good morning. Now, what have you all seen in terms of the need? Well, we actually started this in March when the pandemic started, and we've seen families in our community that have lost their jobs and um, just don't have the, the um, money to buy groceries now. Um, we thought this was going to be a couple of weeks. Yeah, we can fill a few food boxes here and there, and um, that was in March. And here we are in the end of September, and we're still feeding numerous families. Yeah, so we have no idea of how long uh, we'll be in this. What do you all provide? You mentioned the food. What else do you all provide to all of those families? Um, well, it, it, it is different kinds of food. We do the shelf staple things like rice and beans and vegetables. Um, but we also provide fresh meat and fresh vegetables for them as well so that um, they have a little bit of normal in their lives. Is there anything in particular that you all are in a special need of when it comes to the food? Um, generally across the board, it's, it's a little bit of everything that we need. Um, we also take financial donations so that we can provide the fresh meat and the fresh produce for them on a, on a monthly basis. Yes, and I know we always talk about the items that you need, but also volunteers. And it's so good to see people helping out there as well. You all are always in need of that too. Absolutely. Volunteers are crucial to make this work. Um, we have volunteers that help um, pack and um, uh, sort the food. We also have volunteers. We have some families that don't have access to reliable transportation. So we have family, uh, volunteers that drive the, the boxes out to those families. Um, and we also need people to help us just stock the pantry. Yeah, it's definitely always a need for that as well. How have you been faring, Cindy, and, and giving back and still staying up in the midst of it all? Oh, this is, and I think I speak for all the volunteers here, this is what keeps us up during all this, is to mm. be able to give back to the community. Because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. I had the opportunity to help other people uh, back home in Georgia throughout the course of this. And it gave me a renewed sense of, of hope, too, to know that we will get through this. But it takes working together and always knowing that you're in it together, regardless of your financial situation. So it's certainly good to see that and to see the volunteers working behind you, Cindy. And we know how difficult it has been, and, and we applied, applaud you, uh, the other volunteers, as well as the members of the community who have done so much. You're doing all that you can, and we want to take this time to help you as well. So this morning, our Pay It Forward crew and our friends at Eastern's Automotive Group, we want to donate $2,000 to help replenish wow. that pantry. We want to do this so you can continue helping all of those families. That is fantastic. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we want to pull you it in here as well. It will definitely be put to good use. Mm. Thank mm. you. And there's uh, much more. We want to also encourage other people uh, to give, as well as our viewers who are watching right now. Uh, Eastern's Automotive Group, we want to get you in here and say something as well. I, I echo everything that you all are saying. It, it gives us a renewed sense of, of purpose, helping out those who are helping our communities. Um, I think there's few things more noble than feeding those who are hungry and really applaud all the things that you guys have done in your community and happy to help. Well, thank you. And thank you, Cindy, thank for you. all that you do. And we're all getting a little choked up here <laughs> watching, but it's absolutely, just a small absolutely. token. Yeah, a small token to keep you all going. And if you look at your screen here, you can see that Monday and Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., they're taking donations as perishable as well as non-perishable items. And Wednesday and Thursday from 10 to 1.30, non-perishables only. Again, thank you, Cindy, uh, volunteering at the St. Anne's Episcopal Church Food Pantry. Thank you for all the work that you thank do. Thank you so much.